Hello revolutionary music makers, I'm Kate Harmony, this is Ray Harmony, and welcome to Hack Music Theory. Where we help you make great music that stands out. And if you're new to our channel, be sure to download our free book, 12 Music Theory Hacks to Learn Scales and Chords. Alright, it's time to open your door to Hack Music Theory. But first, two. Break Law of the new Dogblood EP from Skrillex and Boys Noise contains an awesome Indian vocal sample which instantly hooks you. The original vocal is obviously not by Dogblood, but they've credited the late Indian composer Adesh Srivastava as a co-writer, so we think it's originally from his song Sona Sona. And yeah, we'll put a link to his song in the description below so you can have a listen. Now, Skrillex and Boys Noise did a great job of finding and reusing this melody, because it's super catchy, but it's also super interesting, and those two elements are usually mutually exclusive. In other words, if you want a catchy melody, it can't be too interesting, otherwise people won't be able to sing it, and therefore it won't be memorable. And if you want an interesting melody, it can't be too catchy, otherwise it'll become too familiar, and then it won't be interesting anymore. So, how can this melody be both interesting and catchy? Well, the composer very cleverly wrote it to be both simple and complex. It's simple in terms of its pitches, which makes it easy to sing and remember, but it's complex in terms of its rhythm, which keeps it interesting even after countless listens. Also, here's a bonus hack for you. The original melody is actually five bars long, and that's another great method for writing interesting melodies. Use an odd number of bars. All right, now you can learn how to use this theory to make your own version. And what you see on the screen right now is our version that we made earlier. So start by setting up four bars of 4-4 four, four, with your grid set to 30 second notes and your tempo set to 108 BPM. Break law is in D Phrygian, so we'll use a two. Step one, pitch. Right, so the pitch element is the one you're gonna keep simple in order to make your melody catchy. So choose only three notes from D Phrygian, which is D, E flat, F, G, A, B flat, and C. The original melody uses G, A, and B flat, but you can use any three notes from the scale. And if you want, you can choose a fourth note that will be used exclusively as a 30 second note to decorate your melody and provide some variation. The original melody uses C as its decorative note, but once again, you can use any note from the scale. And by the way, if you need help writing melodies, then simply use the melody checklist in our songwriting and producing PDF. It's the ultimate list of do's and don'ts for writing great melodies. And on that note, just a quick reminder that our epic summer sale is finishing this weekend on Sunday, June 9th. So if you want 33% off all our PDFs and our online course, then head on over to hackmusictheory.com. Step two, rhythm. Now, the rhythm element is the one you're gonna make more complex in order to make your melody interesting. Remember, if your pitches and your rhythm are both simple, then people will get tired of your melody after a few listens. A more complex rhythm will give your melody depth, which will in turn give it longevity. So here's how it's done. You actually write four melodic segments known as phrases, which then come together to form your melody. But, and this is a very important but, in order to make your whole melody unpredictable and therefore interesting make each phrase different and don't stick to the bar lines for example you can see our first phrase actually ends in the second bar and our third phrase actually begins before the third bar and lastly in the dog blood track the melody is played over a droning bass line that just keeps pounding that root so we'll do that too all right, now let's have a listen to our catchy and interesting melody. But just before the playthrough, if there's an artist you'd like us to hack, let us know in the comments below. And if you want to keep learning how to make great music that stands out, then coming up next, we've got a lesson on how to write an exotic melody. So just click that video when it pops up in a few seconds, and we'll meet you there. 